Item on the agenda is to review the minutes of the February 24th, 2015 regular meeting. <coughs> they seemed excellent to me. Oh, yeah. When I read them over and very concise and everything was perfect, I thought. They never had such good I minutes. I had no changes either. I would make a motion that we accept the minutes of the February 24th, 2015 <coughs> regular meeting. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Do we want to move? Oh, uh, we can go, I guess, to this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. This one. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda. Connecticut General Statute Section 8-24 Referral Olympic Circle Gazebo. Remove gazebo, install patio with benches and plant tree. Remove large tree to improve view of wall of honor per Veterans Advisory Committee. Location 0 Olympic Circle, Map 48, Lot 83. This came up with, in regard with the previous referral we did at the last meeting um, for the efforts that the uh, Veterans Committee is doing for the wall. And the gazebo down there is falling down. Uh, it's blocked off so people won't go on it. Um, and they, they looked at possibly replacing it. But no one, it's, it's not used like it once was for pictures and stuff because Heritage Park has a nice gazebo up there. It's a lot of people up there. So what they want to do is put in a, uh, uh, Bruce Davis recommended putting in a, like a patio, like a paper block patio with benches for people to sit near the memorial as opposed to replacing the gazebo. And, and then and possibly you know put a, put a new tree there that could be decorated because they want to remove the large tree. It's gotten so big that it you know, obstructs the, the view of the wall and everything going closer to the road. So they would put a new tree that they could decorate for the holidays. How come they didn't come in with everything at one time? Well, th there was, it was an oversight on the previous, they didn't, you know, as long as they were doing that, they said, well, why don't you go back and, and ask, get you know, okay for this. So it's in real bad shape. The oh, it's zero. Okay, I think it's, it's bad. <laughs> I just did a quick look, but yeah. I didn't walk went, up. I didn't realize it. I went and drove around it. Like, oh. And it would cost more to fix the gazebo than to put the patio and benches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I agree about the tree. It definitely looks nice. Yeah. So that's that's the, the reason behind that one because it's on the top of it. So the gazebo is owned by the veterans or the town? I believe the town. And, and going to kind of miss it. Yeah. I'm used to it there, mm -hmm. but if it's that bad shape, it's really, I'm not going to rebuild it. In the roof and yeah. it's, yeah, check it out close. It's, I, I wouldn't go on it. You call from the floor. I believe it. Hmm. The only thing with a, a, a patio and, and benches, um, There'll be no cover for the sun, though. Like, is it, if the patio were repaired, you know, you're out of the sun and in the shade. Well, oh, now I'd like to see sun for about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, today I enjoyed, though. Th that's my concern because um, they're right. Uh, there aren't any real shade trees. They're all crab apple or flower. I mean, you know, who's going to be sitting out in the sun looking at the wall? You know, the issue too is the cost of, you know, the cost of repair or reconstruction because it's not something the town can afford. You don't have a figure. Pardon? You don't have a figure. Uh, I don't. He did tell me, but I didn't write it down. <laughs> uh, this was basically that was it was Bruce Davis's recommendation that that we go that route maintenance wise and and it's not used as much as the other uh, gazebo. You know, before people used to get prom pictures and yeah. stuff there. Well, it was the only one, and right? right? And wedding pictures right. And, right. and Memorial Day parade. And mm -hmm. Does it have a light bulb? I can't know. Maybe it's a um, I don't believe it does. We don't have any, we don't have any yeah. measurements it's like is the patio going to be the same size as the It could be roughly the same footprint, you know, with a circular type patio. That's what he was talking about. It, it, you know, they ask you for dedicating that pan and everything. You put a flagpole there, too. There's a flagpole there. There's a flag up every year. I don't remember seeing it. 
Yeah, they put the uh, POW and the American flag. They raise up because yeah. right, right at not lit at night though. Mm -hmm. Flag yeah, they, they raise John John Hachala raises it every year, when the, and they, the high school kids sing the the uh, Star Spangled Banner. I should be left. I thought they did the other one. Both of them have a slide banner. Yeah, no, they raise a flagpole now. Well, I guess if the town doesn't have money to repair it. Is this, uh, do they do fundraising to raise the money for the I think they do patio and stuff? Or? For the other work that they're doing, there's donations. Well, how much for the patio that the town has to pay? I, I don't know the dollar amounts. I was just asking for approval for the, to do the work. Really, it's not, right, it's not our, mm -hmm. right. just curiosity. I hate to say it come down, but I know it is. Yeah, bad. Uh, oh, I did. Yeah. yeah, my husband said, oh my God, the roof's going to come down. Uh, and I, I trust Dave. I mean, he's, he always has steered us correctly. And, you know, he wouldn't tell us it was bad if it wasn't bad. So I don't have a problem with it. I just wish you could see a picture of the patio. I'm sure it'll be nice. And Bruce will do a good job. I make a motion that we would re do the required referral under A24, that we approve that. Uh -huh. I, that I, I guess I'll second. Hey, Gene, would you have done that to have a light put on the flagpole? I'll mention that to Bruce while they're doing the other work. Maybe they could. If they have a light up all, they all the time, they have to have a, I mean, a flag up all the time, you have to have a light on. That's yeah, true. that's that's. Mandatory, really. Or you have to take it down every night, right, Doug? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm actually surprised they'd have one with no light. I, I didn't know. I don't remember seeing one there. I know there's one at American Legion, and they do. That's where they do the ceremony to the parade. Oh my goodness! I'm I'm going by memory, standing there how many years at the parade? Well, I, I don't know that it's appropriate for us to mandate additional. We, would, we, can rec we can certainly recommend that we can have a date pass along but with respect to what they're asking for of course. Our, yeah. rec you're our approval. I, I think you're absolutely right. Well, I'm glad because that you're, now you're making me wonder, am I seeing things? <laughs> I could have sworn. Well, we'll all be driving by it tonight to make yeah. sure. <laughs> oh, there is a light bulb. Oh, no, there isn't. Nancy was all loused up. <laughs> Okay. All right, so Jean, so your your motion was was to approve the referral to remove the gazebo, install patio with benches and plant tree, remove large tree, or improve view of wall. Of, uh, correct. Correct, with no uh, amendments. Yeah, I, I, I just to offer on that that it, they did try to offer that tree for Rockefeller Center. However, they are years out in accepting the trees. Oh, 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 that was a nice thought. Yeah. <laughs> it is a nice tree. Mm -hmm. It is a great shape, shape to it. Big, yeah. The lights for that are the ten thousand dollars. Wow. The Christmas lights and they're the commercial yeah. great Christmas lights. Beautiful tree. Mm -hmm. Did you second Nancy? I did. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is discussion and possible action review of zoning regulations. Um, I did make uh, some of the, re the revisions that we talked about last meeting to Don's report. And then I, I spoke with Dennis, and I'll let Dennis talk. We were talking about the uh, architectural guidelines and incorporating in that. I know the letter to the board about uh, my initial thoughts. For you, Madam Secretary. Subversion of step.
Well, Dennis, since I was the one who wrote the regulations, I guess I have some comments. <laughs> I, I, I assumed. You assumed, right. Um, it's excellent and thoughtful, that is for sure, but when you wanted to review uh, the proposed uh, changes from surrounding communities, this is where I pulled this from. Mm -hmm. I understand. Uh, I did Summers, I did Avon, I did Willington, and I did Ellington. Mm -hmm. And actually, this is a, a watered-down version of what those four communities have, and I don't see where our community is any different from like a Summers or the Avon Center, that, that they're really over the top there on their, their architectural regulations. That they really, I just pulled a few things about the roof lines, et cetera, which mm -hmm. I was very concerned about since uh, Dollar General, um, we did say that the, the HVAC or mechanicals had to be out of sight, and there's one side of the building where they're not going to be, but because our rigs aren't strong enough, we had to go along with it. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, prompted me to, to sit down and review, and I talked to different zoning people about this. And the first thing they wanted to know is, did you want it to stay like a New England village type, that corridor? And that's when I said absolutely. So this is quite a few of the recommendations that they said that should probably go in to our regulations. So that part of what you want to do, I believe I've taken care of. Now, what I do have a disagreement about is you know how a snail's pace it is to get anything changed on this board. I don't think we have that time and, and the luxury to wait much longer to get these architectural rigs in. Uh, Mr. Donald Poland, I know, works very hard, but he really has been very busy and has not been very um, uh, accessible to us person to person because of conflicts. So that slowed down the process. Uh, the other reason being that um, we haven't even seen a survey yet on what the townspeople want as far as growth. So when you're suggesting that we also do this um, a town meeting, et cetera, on what they want for architecture. It, it's just going to delay it and delay it and delay it. If you have any specific regulations you would like to put in there, then certainly I would like to entertain them and to look at them. But to go the route you're talking, we're gonna, it's gonna go at least six months to another year. You know that, Dennis, and I don't think we have that time. You of all people told us time is urgent at this point. It's true. Um, are, are you finished? I don't want to know. Oh, oh yes. The reason I say it is that this is a, this is a large, complex uh, uh, topic. And, and I'll give you some examples that came to mind quickly as I, as I read through it uh, this morning. <coughs> Virtually none of our buildings <coughs> would meet the, our own regulations. Are they, are they existing beginning. buildings? Yeah. That is correct. Virtually none of the buildings on Main Street would meet these, would, would match these regulations. Um, and we would get hammered by you know the, the, the sophisticated legal teams that are going to come in here and start and start trying to trying to uh, tear us apart. What I what and the the local towns may not have the kind of of uh, tiered evaluation that I'm going to advocate here for you. Um, I think what you're trying to define is a level of quality in, in a certain way, but and, and a, a variety of things that are contradictory all at the same time. Take, for instance, you know, moving, the, moving the, all the buildings to the front and putting the parking in the back uh, is, was one of the recommendations we had, so that we, we narrow the corridor and make it a more walkable space, Correct. whatever. There's still going to be parking in the back, but and that means they're going to have to either, you know, put a storefront on the front of the building and allow people and, and come in, you know, have customers come through the front, and customers who park in the back are going to want a back door entrance, and nobody's going to want to, you know, want to come in through the back door. So you're going to have uh, some additional expenses, and, and you're going to. Uh, 
create some some uh, challenges for the for, for businesses to try and meet those pieces of the puzzle and still have a loading dock that they can get to and some service entrance where you've got the trash coming in and out, the boxes coming in and out, the people coming in and out. Um, you know, logistically, some of those things are going to be hard to hard to make uh, work all together. I don't have I don't have the answers yet. I haven't really thought about it in great depth. Um, I don't know how we accommodate solar panels on on a on a roof that's you know that, that may or may not you know be be flat. Um, it, it's going to preclude the opportunity for somebody to put uh, you know, green uh, vegetation on, on, on building roofs. I, I can foresee a point where, where if you take, and I advocated this a number of years ago, there's a, there's a design mechanism where you can put living, a living matter on top of the roof, grasses and... and uh, they do that in the city now. Yeah. But you can't do it on a pitched roof. You have to. You pretty much have to do it on a sloped roof. It helps. It helps <coughs> retain rainwater and stormwater runoff. Uh, it it prevent it. It adds an insulation layer, and helps heat and cool the building because of the thermal mass. So you know there's there's some green applications to this that. Uh, you're saying that you need a flat roof for it. It won't work on a sloped roof. Is what it, you're it doesn't work on a sloped roof because it drains too quickly. <coughs> um, hmm. There are there are there. Are, there are expanding consecutive circles of this that we really need to think about. Uh, I, it, we I, don't have a we don't have a Leeds uh, energy program in here. We mar we're gonna, we're about to market ourselves in our community as 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 green and energy efficient as you know any place on the nation. You know we're gonna wipe out our, our electric bill. I reviewed the roof regs with Butch mm -hmm. Butch Clark. Yeah. relative to solar mm -hmm. and he said this is very doable mm -hmm. for solar for greenhouses no you know or <coughs> to grow consider, vegetables in, on a roof no consider main street you know, main street you know is is the is the um, um, is the benchmark yet virtually every every roof down that that, that corridor is flat it's a brick face and it's got one decent side and there's nothing uglier than flat roofs, but the ones on Main Street, you don't see the flat roof. That is the difference, Dennis. Because of the height. That is the difference. Well, there's, there's geometry so, involved. So how do you do that in the regulations to allow a flat roof, but, <coughs> but maybe just parapets? It, um, that's, that's possible, but I think there are trade-offs you can make. For instance, if you were to say, if, 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 if there's a difference between standalone buildings and buildings that are built basically condo style, side mm -hmm. by side. Um, there are uh, there are places that are you know, for, for instance, you know, we've got a vacant lot downtown, and you know, one building needs to be rebuilt, you know, as it is. Well, how are we going to deal with with that in this particular context? You know, you can't make the back look like the front because you're, you're up against a stone wall. Um, well, that's I, why I, this should be a special <coughs> use permit because then it's up to the commission to deal with these different circumstances. Not every building on um, the, the 190 corridor, which this is really going to be addressing, um, and it would, of course, spill over to Main Street. But that's why special use permit. No, you don't have to have the back look like the front. That is under the purview of the commission. Well, so that's how we give leeway, Dennis. Well, here's, here's my thought. You're going to... I guess I described it earlier today. Depending on, you know, you're going to put your fish, you're going to put your line in the water, the hook in the water. The bait you put on the hook is going to determine what you catch. You know, either sharks or, or grouper. Um, we need to make sure that you know what we're putting in the, in the ground uh, makes sense. I'm advocating that you know this this be a, a, a topic of its own because I think it's that important. I think it's um, very and I, important. And I Dennis. think there are. There are, there is room for disagreement up and down the board. <clears throat> I don't necessarily think that the model we're looking for may be in the state of Connecticut. We may have to look much farther afield because, uh, in, in in my opinion, you know, we're we're not terribly creative um, in many in many uh, places. 
And I think there's an opportunity here for us to you know, create a checklist of things that say, yeah. if I had a, a completely masonry brick building on four sides, you can have a flat roof. If I, you know, trade if by trading the components and having them objective, then the standard will survive the members' tenure on the on this board. You know, you guys have got a, a particular vision in mind, but in order for that vision to be transferred to the next, you know, the next generation of board members, so that that that, that standard is a continuum, you have to have an. Uh, you, it, it would be helpful to have. You don't have to have anything. It would be helpful to have a a uh, a score sheet by which you could trade, you know, roof roof lines for for uh, uh, skin types or 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 uh, window details or door door configurations or trim. Um, you know, if somebody gives me a marble front, you know, I don't have to do something else. Uh, you know. and we can get our green buildings much yeah. more well, that way. We, we, we don't even address the, the leads issue. No, we don't. You know, and, you know, that's something that if, if we're going to make a, a statement, you know, this is the time to do it. I just think that we need, uh, you know, we can debate, you know, how long you're going to put up, how long you're going to do this. But I think this is a topic that deserves, you know, a great deal of thought and, and, and more input from um, from us as a community and us as us as a design community, us as a, 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 a professional opinions. I think you, I think you need to hear more. Well, I, I I agree with you, Dennis. It's just that the urgency. Um, this has been going on since October, was that first meeting, November, and you said they're coming, they're coming quick. And you've seen what developers have done to us. They, well, they, they say one thing and oh, we approve it, and then they give you another thing. I mean, that's, you just try to be so specific so they don't have the ability to wheedle around and change things the way they want it and not the way that the board approved it. You see that time after time, and I think that's where I was coming on with the specifics. And when you say you want it really kind of open-ended, I think that puts us in a very contentious spot with a developer because they really are going to get whatever they want, where they want, and I don't think that's what the people in this town want on 190. I agree with you. So how do we do that, Dennis? I, I think I think taking it off the table doesn't doesn't uh, you know, for for this evening's vote doesn't necessarily uh, slow you down <coughs> a significant amount. You know, I, I recommended some some, some you know, I made some recommendations for, for further study and, and a broader a broader look at the problem uh, because I think if if we if we go off, you know, half cocked, we're gonna we're gonna be back trying to trying to redo it again and again. You've got you've got a standard now. You know, give us you know give us uh, you know, some time. And the standard does not work. You've seen it with Family Dollar, with Dollar General. Well, well, I thought it I mean, pretty good. The standard does well, not explain work. Explain Family Dollar. I haven't had a chance to tell them uh, yet. Family Dollar called and said that they'd be uh, submitting uh, brick uh, brick details to my to uh, revise my building plans. I said, well, I'm glad to hear that, and the board will be too. Um, you know, I, I talked to the developer yes, yesterday. Oh, so. It was yesterday, yeah. But does the board know what originally happened with, with them? I think so, yeah. The story that they came in with something less. Oh, than what we approved. Well, they can't, they, they, you, you approved a brick facade. And what they sent me for a building, uh, building plan review, <coughs> Was a uh, was a, uh, a panel, you know, a, a screwed on panel that looked like brick, and they wanted to send me a sample, and I said, "Don't bother." That's what they do. Don't, don't bother. I mean, it was it was three quarters of an inch thick, <laughs> you know, and I was like, I said, "No." I said, "I said you're going to have to go back to the same board again." I said, and "Ask for for a variance." I said, "But I think you got a tinker's chance in hell of getting it." Because this is bait and switch. Mm -hmm. I said we said brick facade. We meant brick facade. Mm -hmm. You know, don't you know? You, you, I, I rejected the thing. 
He says, well, and he started to object. I said, you don't understand. I'm the town engineer. I sat at the site plan review. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, Dennis, I, I can't uh, thank you enough for for trying to take on just one more duty here. <laughs> well, uh, in, in the discussions uh, we were having, I did find, and you may have seen this, it's online, uh, where one town said it's amended Massachusetts. Actually, oh, I didn't they see, split I didn't it out. Do Massachusetts? But if you read, <laughs> if you read through I'm this, it's not the end of the state. It's it's uh, thank you. It's a very thorough thing, and and and. Wow. Speaking with Dennis, um, you know, I, I tend to agree that it should be treated separately and uh, treated separately so that we can address it. Yeah. Well, ju just by way of clarification, I thought we were, I, I could be mistaken, I thought we were treating it separately anyway because the way it was originally written, we had had the right, discussion. Right, we were just going to insert it. We were going to insert it. We were going to insert it at the same time as we're this other, uh, right. other so, we, so we were gonna we were gonna look to have our the various rigs that we work on the, the, the solar um, this you know reviewed by reviewed by our attorney reviewed by Prague right. go to public hearing at the same time but not necessarily yeah. not necessarily so that's not sufficient well I mean we can we can still submit the other stuff and submit this a month later you know I, whatever time we need to, to address things. Like at the last meeting, I was saying I wasn't familiar with some of the building components that are available. Right. That's why I wanted to speak with Dennis. And, and I think I, uh, I'm, I'm very interested in his idea of, of the grading grade and trade. Or, or grade and trade. That's intriguing. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, just like the sign concept. Yeah. You know, the, those are creative concepts that, you know, I'd love to have a perfect set of regulations tomorrow to apply, but it's going to take time, and, you know. And in the meantime, we'll, you know, we'll address things as they come about building materials. I mean, we CVS turned out nice. But and, you, you see, it's only a site plan. It's not special use permit now. That's why we're at the, the mercy of the developers at this point. Yeah. Well, no, but, no, no. No, we have been. No. There's a new sheriff. Wait. There's a new sheriff. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You, you know my concern, Dennis. I'm not at all upset about this. I just did this because I was no, I, so upset about what's been happening with the other two dollar stores mm -hmm. um, and, and how Family Dollar didn't do what we said and, and, and Dollar General, they, they didn't follow our regs either, but you know. See, yes, that's the difference between us. I never blame a leopard for, for having spots. Of course, the developer's <laughs> going to do whatever they want for them. It's our job not to let them do it, but our regulations don't allow us to do that. Well, they gave us some leverage. Point. They gave us some leverage the last few months. And, and CBS worked fine, I will CBS say that. CBS worked fine, and, and we, we eventually you know, twisted enough arms you know, that we got you know, what we needed out of the other two. Um, that sets precedent, that's important. Um, that gives us, you know, the, the fact that you guys back, you know, back what we're trying to do and we're, we're supporting your efforts, you know, means there's no daylight in between us. That's important. Um, but in that said, I think there's, there's, a, uh, there's, there's a case to be made for, for, for evaluating this thing so that we've got some measuring stick that somebody in, uh, you know, Arkansas can you know look at our regulations over the internet and say well, I don't want to go there. All right, we can we can live with these parameters. It also gives you an opportunity. It, it, it takes away the cookie cutter approach to the problem. Okay, you know you, you tell an architect, well you know hit the marks. You know show me how you can do it different. You know this is the quality level that I'm looking. For. You know bingo, quality it, level is what we're lacking. That's yeah. that's exactly that's what we're lacking. Yeah, and this is a this is an opportunity to get that without everything looking the same. You know, I, I'm not a design, I'm not a, an architect by, by trade, but I recognize that there's there's an art to this, and if you tie their hands, you're going to get the same thing every time. Um, I, I, I agree with you, Dennis. I agree, and this is cut and dry. 
that's for sure. But how can we somehow, like I know Cindy and Jean and Dave and everyone uh, with the building facing the main road and the sidewalks, it just made it such a walkable community. And I think that's what that corridor will, will become. You see people walking now, but they're walking in the road. Uh, I think that eventually, and I'm thinking I'll be dead and gone by then, but it will happen. So like you said, who's ever on the board, that it goes continue, continue. But I understand what you're saying. If someone wants um, the, the door on the side of a building, they still can have, the, the front of the building doesn't have to be on the, the street, but at least part of the building that way, so there's still a sidewalk. Is that what you're saying by leverage? Yeah, I think, okay. I think if, if, you know, if, you, if, you can, if, we can, if we can create it, I'm not saying you know, that, that we can, but it seems possible to me because they do this, they have a grade system at the, the State uh, Board of Education office when you submit plans for their, for expansions of, and, of buildings. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they grade, you know, how many classrooms there are, how many square feet there are, you know, what kind of insulation, you know, that, there's a checklist of things you have to do. And, and, and things that you get points for and you get to take points taken away. We ought to be able to come up with something similar. That, you know, if you, if you get 100 <coughs> points, you can go mass them 100 points off of this chart. You know, based on, this, on the square footage of your building, the square footage of, of uh, roof, the square footage of uh, the facade on any, any given side, you know, with more points toward the street and, the, and the, the face and fewer points in the back. You know, you can put all your money in, you know, on, on, on the main street side and, and you know, be uh, casual on the back. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you can spread it all around. What, what I'm envisioning, Dennis, is like a Paradiso's property there where family dollars, there's still how many, 23 acres left or something yeah, like that? Yeah, there's room for development. There's other areas like that so, as well. But I realize they're not <coughs> going to be on the road, but you will, they will have like to a, make a, like a, a camp price camp. Right. <coughs> right. And, and different, you know, uh, hopefully sidewalks, almost like um, Evergreen Walk. Yeah. I, that's what I'm envisioning. Yeah. And their parking lots are in the back of the building, yeah. and they face the front with a sidewalk in the road. That's, right. I, that's where I was coming from. You, so now you understand what I was coming from. No, I mean, that, I, I understood that's it. perfect. I understood it. But, you know, we, we've, got to do, we've got to deal with that with the geometry in a variety of places. Okay. And it has to be able to fit in, in, in a variety of places. You have to ask, and, and the board's going to have to decide, how far you want the walking space to, to, to extend to, right? Do you want to go to 30, 30, what is it, 32? Yeah, the one that goes north. Yeah, 32. 32, yeah. Do you want to tear it out further to the big white plaza? Do you want it, or do you want it somewhere in between? Um, that's, yeah, I personally think at least to the big white plaza, any major, at least, right. major retail places. This this is helpful what you just passed on. Just yeah. 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 when you read through it, it addresses everything we've been talking yeah. about. Okay. So yeah. can we? This is great. Dennis, thank you. For did that. you see this? No, I I saw it briefly. Yeah. Put it under my nose. You know, for, yeah, I'll get your copy. <laughs> but but so, we were on the same page. I mean, I'm not. I'm not this is excellent. This really is excellent. I mean, the top ten examples. elements: well, successful true. pedestrian friendly commercial buildings. The purposes of it, the guidelines. I mean, you have pictures of a Dunkin' Donut that yeah, and McDonald's. looks you like somebody's house. And McDonald's. And that's what I was envisioning. Uh, I, well, we understood that. We just think you know you need more help. And I, I absolutely, like, I like Dennis's idea. I think the whether we can create the grade and trade, I don't know. But the the parcels are different, as you say. We don't want them all to look the same. Uh, it's a, it's intriguing to me that if you allow the architect some artistic leeway, mm -hmm. you might come up with something pretty darn cool yeah. and instead of dictating every little thing that you have to do. I agree. It's, it's an interesting approach and, that I had never forces, thought of. It forces some people to step away from a prototype store. Yeah. Or to modify a prototype yeah. store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. But it does. In order for that to work, there's examples. 
it's going to be my special use permit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's going to be because it's going to be wide open. Yeah. For, you know, yeah. we have to set the parameter when they come in. We have to set the parameter according to what. Right. We well, what, want yeah, well, what, what we think the neighborhood looks like, what it should look like. If there's an industry, you want to put up, you know, a different type and a square, whatever. If it's a residential type area, then you do want, well, this, and that's what you're this, saying. Yeah, at this yeah. point, what we're talking about is, is, is the business community, right? Uh, the, the core. I, I, I mean, I mean, but it's part know. residential, too, Dennis. Well, it is, but, you know, then. I think if you if you if you if you try and define the quality level and leave the uh, creativity to, to, the, to the people that are good at it, you will attract people that understand what you what you want to do, and they will they will be channeled into a into a groove that will bring you something you know that they're proud of. So you can guarantee by rewriting that. That. I don't want to use that word. Uh, I don't care where you go with that You could propose. <laughs> He'll never use guarantee. You could propose <laughs> that rewriting it, um, that we would be protected from a developer coming in and saying, no, I don't care if it's in between two houses. We're going to put up a square building and a flat roof because that's our prototype. Well, you're going to make sure that wouldn't We're happen. We're going to try. Okay. We're going to try. Okay. I think we got a better shot at it, and I, okay. I think I think you know, we need to be creative as well. So, will you come back with something, or are we supposed to work on no, something? We'll, Dave and I will work on something. We'll work on so what, what we'll we'd this. like to do now is we'll reach out to it, a bunch is of just like remove to that section from okay. Don Poland's. He's he's ready to go. Because um, he had architecture in here too. It was important well, to him. Just right. Well, yeah, that was he, our section where I mean we're going to leave it as it originally was, so it's not going to be changed. Right. And well, then, uh, he didn't put mine in this one. This was the original one. I told him we were still talking over. Yeah. Just the one in red. The last couple of the last two pages. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, see, I don't have the new one. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, this is the only one. Oh, um, okay, Dennis, could I be involved at some point? Sure. I mean, he was just incorporating what was there before within this. Yeah, that's, that's the, the that's, original. Right. Yeah. But way back in the very beginning, he wanted, one of his proposals was, very strong architectural wrecks. Well, in, in his in his review of the regulations, yeah. very originally, yes. yeah, right. But he wanted right. to Definitely. really beef them up, right. So, but we were, I mean, we're still going to address it, right. but we're going to move forward with the zone change. Yeah. I believe the zone change is big priority, and that yeah. would include the solar too. Um, we can do that. Well, the solar, we're waiting to hear back from the attorney. We haven't heard yet. No, no. Well, they just finished all their con all your contracts, right? Yeah. So, so we'll just keep going. Yeah, we'll just keep. So do the zone change, public hearing. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. there's nothing saying we have to submit everything at that's once. Right. We can submit that's something right. every week. Yep. Right. Absolutely. Well, Dennis, and that's how we have to do it. Was as so we much. get them done, we just put them in. Otherwise, we'll it had to happen. It does have to happen. It has to happen. Yeah. That's 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 fine. You know, so I'll ask Don about about that, and then I have. One last, he said he could come, uh, he, he teaches a class on Tuesday nights, and with all the snow, you typically he could rearrange it, but all the snow delays have really backed up, that's why he couldn't make it tonight. But he says he, he'll, he'll cancel class or whatever by the time, whatever we need to do, we have a public hearing. So I don't know if you want to get a change document back from him, and, and at the next meeting say, yeah, okay, we're going to submit this to Krog. And everything else, mm -hmm. and then, uh, and if maybe we'll hear from the solar by then. I also have this other zone change. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we have to do a special meeting to arrange it with Don, we can do that. We could do that yeah, too. Right. Uh, I'll ask him how. What you know? I think uh, it's probably most important, probably at the public hearing. It, well, yeah. yeah. I will be gone. Yeah. That's when we need him. April fourteenth, is it? Yeah. 
Tuesday April 14th, I'll be in Disney World. So there's one thing, Cindy, yes. Jack, um, Dave, Nancy, you just, just passed pass through zoning regulations. What are you going to do now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Disney World. Yeah, yeah. John Perrier, where did he go? When did, what did you say? April 14th? April 14th. Yeah, I won't be here. Till when? Uh, and for that week. We're leaving okay. Saturday to Saturday. Where did Johnny go? I wanted to introduce you to him. Um, at the Democratic Town Committee, because Chris Groves didn't reapply for alternate. Mm -hmm. um, he asked if he, um, if we would uh, recommend him to the first selectman to fill Chris Grove's alternate position. Sorry, and I'm sorry, Nancy. Before we go there, though, can we just yeah, wrap we'll this up? We, we need to. Oh, I didn't want that in the minutes. Mm -hmm. I just before he left, <laughs> as he left. He says no, no. here. That's uh, just okay. because he came. I mm -hmm. wanted you to know who he was. You gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's. What we're going to do in regards to that. Sure. Solar, we are all set. I'm just waiting for the attorneys. Um, the other zone change is just an editorial uh, of correcting a mistake on a map. Um, um, I don't know if, if you know Laura, uh, she's covering for Mary this week. She mm -hmm. usually works upstairs. She's been helping myself and the selectman's office and public works and pretty much everybody uh, uh, looking into grants um, and back when we were discussing the historical stuff uh, you know we looked into the, the hollow district that is registered on the national registry that's what Amy Staple said but they have it listed under Harford County instead of Town <laughs> County, so it doesn't come up. Oh my God! Oh, that's so that I... was the snafu yeah. all along. So what that allows is uh, the oh, the, uh, the old town hall. Then what's the other one called? Memorial. Memorial. Uh, Memorial. Memorial. Uh, yeah. What about Penny School? I don't know if uh, Penny School's on. I don't know if the district goes that Penny, far. I think Penny might be on. I think so too. Um, but anyways, you it, know what it else opens. Is on it? It's Mill Pond. Oh, yeah, Mill Pond. I think Mill Pond and the, and the post office. Mm-hmm. Look at, look at Washington. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, it goes up. Amy's house is on it, too. Right? Yes, Amy did. That's why she keeps yeah. saying it's on the National yeah, Bridge. Well, well, no, there's still not. It's not binding to the owners, you know, <coughs> if they don't want to. Do we have to do? But do it allows us to. to that you know, Harford County thing has to be fixed, though, that right? That needs to, yeah. we got to straighten that out. But she just told me this yesterday that she goes, you know, I was going and I found it under Harford County. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, wow. So that was a good find by her. Yeah. Um, but it opens up access to, to grant money uh, for repairs, maintenance. Uh, and everything. So that, I wanted to pass that. Great, great news. Isn't it funny how something like that happens in you? Yeah. Can't find it. So, you know, you think. People who swear it exists are like, but I can't find it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that's why nobody, huh? nobody could find it. So. Um, so, and then the only other item is that yesterday, uh, yesterday, Reddington Rock filed an appeal with the court, with the ZBA. How does that work? I'm waiting for a second opinion. I was told by two attorneys that the avenue is for them to go to the ZBA because I was the one who issued the order to them by letter, even though I signed it on behalf of the commission. I'm waiting to hear from a third attorney. Uh, to, I mean, we're going to accept it for the ZBA, put it on the agenda, yeah, what are you gonna do and now? find out between now and then if, if that's the avenue. We've all been under the assumption it comes from us. Court is the remedy, that's right. not the ZBA. That's right. The, and, and right, Cindy? That's right. right. It, but Dave, you're our <coughs> agent. Right. So, yeah. I'm the one in charge of, in, uh, of, yeah. of enforcing the zoning regulations. So, uh -huh. so I'm the one they that you know yeah. they consider my decision. I guess I don't know. Okay. But I, I, you know, you saw the letter. I, it stated that you unanimously voted right. to issue it. So. Are you sure? It's documented in the but, yeah, he, he just wrote the letter. Well, that, that, that brings me back to Crystal Ridge when I was um, acting chairman and I got sued for two and a half million dollars by the developer because 
Everybody else voted it down, and I didn't vote because I was chair. But I got sued because I was chair. Mm -hmm. They lost. They lost both. They sued the zoning board and me, but they lost both. And then they went back so. That is an interesting turn of events, though. Well, and the other odd thing is, uh, you know, I, I have a copy of it, but they, they, uh, they appealed it. Uh, I probably should. <laughs> they appealed. They, they appealed that saying that they already have it, approval. Right, but they've got a special permit. Right. And we never. We never. Uh, all, all I'll say is we never disagreed with that. Yeah. Right. But, right. but that's interesting. If you're seated on, and I won't go too far this way, but. You're seated on the zoning board of appeals. Uh, that's an interesting. Uh, you yeah. know what you should do. Interesting. Is have Ed with his opinion go before the ZBA because they won't understand the concept. Well, the ZBA will probably. Well, there, there's an issue first as to whether the ZBA has jurisdiction. Right, right but if so. they do, they really because they won't understand. But they will send where it, we're coming from. They will. They will send it to the lawyer. You can guarantee they'll send it to the lawyer. They won't. The Reddington did have a, their, their attorney sign the request. Well, we'll have to see. Pardon? What are they going to lose? Right. Right. They don't have to lose. The, and the, and a little bit regardless, money. regardless, the health department will not let them open until they address the concerns that they have. The health department and wasn't there something else with the state? Uh, well, it was state health department. The state health. Oh, okay. About their water supply. That's right. It's unfortunate. A nice, you know, in a way, a nice thing that's been there forever. But you know, it's a new time, a new day. Well, I think there's a fairly straightforward resolution that was yep. proposed. And Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. All right. Is that all we have under review and other business? Yep. Sweet. All right. We're going to get to see NCIS. Huh? Motion to adjourn. I'll be Roger. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. Okay. Favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doug. Uh -huh. I think Doug was second, right? Yeah.